Welcome to this week's episode of the Compliance Digest, presenting topics on all things compliance related. We're excited to be back after a brief winter hiatus, and I can assure you that the video momentum will continue on a weekly basis after today. Uh, this week I'm joined by Christy Evitz, uh, who along with being a seasoned sales executive at Quest CE, also holds a series license and has uh, her financial services background. So we're excited to have her here today, and her expertise is welcome on all things broker-dealer compliance related. So welcome, Christy. Thanks, Alex. As we're approaching the middle of February, uh, we're finally able to take a look back at 2012, get a better picture of the compliance environment that we're in, um, facing both advisors and investors, and looking at some of the enforcement trends that have been brought up by the SEC and FINRA. So both SEC and FINRA have posted their results from the previous year. Um, we're able to look at some of those trends, and what we're seeing is that the enforcements have continued to move upward. Um, but even more interesting that we've been seeing from the SEC is that there's been significant change in the personnel there. So uh, Christy here today will talk about that and what the likely impact will be on in, uh, the advisors. Sure, Alex. You know, after the re-election of President Barack Obama, Mayor Shapiro announced her resignation as chairman. And following her decision, we saw other important figures step down as well. Mm -hmm. And when we look at the impact this is going to have on investors, it's important to note who's going to be filling their shoes. And uh, specifically, now it, our next chair will be uh, Mary Jo White. Mary Jo White, who is the former U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Correct, yes. The industry is speculating that the signals that the SEC is actually going to continue to aggressively uh, enforce laws for this year, and we shouldn't anticipate seeing them lose any momentum in regards to the change in guard. Okay. <clears throat> Turning over and looking at FINRA, there was no significant change in, in the staffing really over there, and I think that shows. It does. You know, FINRA continues to accelerate the amount of enforcement uh, against broker-dealers. Mm -hmm. Just looking at the numbers, I'm seeing that disciplinary actions are already up. Uh, resolutions are up, expelled firms are up, and an increase of 79% over last year in restitutions up. It's really impressive. It is, you know, and it's an important thing to kind of mention to the audience today, the areas in which we saw FINRA actively investigate last year, mm -hmm. which were anti-money laundering, uh, structured products, uh, record retention, disclosures, and supervision. Mm -hmm. And I think we also heard a lot from our clients that uh, outside business activities came up a lot during last year's audits. You know, it came up a lot last year and it continues to come up this year. I spoke to a client yesterday who had FINRA in the office for an audit and it's still a hot topic for this year as well. Okay. Well, that's very interesting and that'll actually wrap things up for this week. As we uh, look at 2013, we can expect more of the same, uh, if not even more heightened enforcement action from FINRA and the SEC. So our advice to you out there is to stay vigilant, stay compliant. Um, Christy, I want to thank you for joining us and thank you all for tuning in this week and joining us for another episode of the Compliance Digest.